All right, this podcast is going to go over a few things that will be helpful to you as you uh, navigate through the Linux environment. The first of them is the uh, Bash Shell's built-in uh, history and command recall features. Uh, if you type a command, say you type a command, you type, you know, I want to look at the log directory. And I run that command, I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, well, that's no good. I wanted to look at the uh, log directory reverse sorted by time so I can see which file was most recently used. You can use the up arrow to recall your previous command. So I just hit the up arrow key. My previous command came back. I use the other arrow keys to move over to wherever I want to be. And then I can modify my command. So the up arrow key lets you recall your previous commands. It only goes up to a certain point, right? In this case, it's only letting me recall commands from this session. Sometimes, depending on how it's set up, you can recall commands from across sessions. You can also type the, his the word history to see your command history. And then you can also rerun commands by number. So in this case, if I wanted to rerun command number three, I could type an exclamation point and a three. That's not a three. A three. And that'll rerun command number three. If I want to rerun command number four, I can type a exclamation point and a four. If I want to rerun the last command I just ran, so say I run ls, if I want to rerun the last command I just ran, I can type an exclamation point twice. All right, and that'll run the same command again. So that's a little bit about the Linux uh, Bash Shell's uh, history that'll save you time. Lots of times you type some big long command like, you know, scp. Uh, here's a good example. This happens sometimes. scp, I want to copy my .ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub file if I have one. And I want to copy that up to, you know, some remote system. This isn't going to work because I'm on CNT serve, but this is just an example. Say I do that and I type enter, right? That's going to fail because I have a typo. Actually, I copied the file locally because I didn't put the colon. So anyway, I screwed that up. It didn't do what I wanted to do. On purpose, it didn't do what I wanted to do. If I look, I now have a file called RBE. Uh, yeah, if you look, I have this file, which, so it did something. It didn't do what I want to do. So if I didn't know about the up arrow, I would type this, start typing this again, you know, which is very slow. So you just hit the up arrow, go back, fix your command, and save yourself a lot of keystrokes. If you're ever around anybody that's fairly fluent in Linux and you start retyping commands again, you'll, you'll probably hear them say something like, uh, use the arrow keys, especially if that's me. So that was one of the things I wanted to cover. Another thing I wanted to cover is different ways we can look at files. Um, so we can use the cat command. I think I use the cat command to, dim to, uh, to open a file. Basically, just this command will display the contents of the file to the screen. We'll look at the uh, log file for fun. Massages, that'd be better. Var log messages has not going to be root to do that. I'll become root. So there we go. I uh, looked at my log file. That showed me the whole whole file, right? Cat will display the contents of the entire file. If I want to look at the page at the file one page at a time, I can use the more command. More. This lets me look at one page at a time. I can hit the space bar to go forward. I can hit the B key to go backwards, and that lets you look at the the uh, page the uh, file one page at a time. Another command we can use, less, is kind of like more, but it's not more, it's less. It essentially does the same thing. The main benefit of less is it lets you use the arrows keys to go back and forth. You can go a full page with the space bar, you can go back with the B, but you can also use the arrow keys. If you heard the do 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 a minute ago with more, here let me demonstrate that again. If you hear this, that's me trying to use the arrow keys with more to make sure that, that it didn't work. More doesn't use the arrow keys, less will let you use the arrow keys. There may be some other differences, but those are the main ones I know about. If you want to look at the beginning of a file, you can use head. That shows you the first 10 lines of the file. If you want to look at the first 20 lines, you can do head dash 20. That shows you the first 20. If you want to look at the end of the file, you can use tail. That shows you the last 10. If you want to look at more than 10, same thing. Tail dash 
20. I'll show you 20. And tail has a special switch. If you do tail-f, that causes it to continuously update. So you see my files getting updated. So if I was looking at a log file while I was doing something, I wanted to get the updates, I could use tail-f for that. Uh, so uh, that's that. Um, you may have noticed my cursor bouncing all the way to the beginning of the line instead of me arrowing over a minute ago. You may not have noticed, but if you did notice, control A will take you to the beginning of the line. Control E will take you to the end of the line. So if you want to go back to the beginning of the line to uh, do something more quickly, you can do control A for that. And I believe that's all I wanted to cover in this quick podcast.